Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. We are going to be talking about the Shot in the Dark, specifically the 2024 Shot in the Dark. Uh, we did have to reschedule this event. It was originally two weeks prior, but it is going to be coming up this Saturday, the 27th, 26th, 26th, 27th, 27th, Saturday the 27th at 8 p.m. here at the Excelsior Springs Golf Course. Uh, spectators are highly encouraged and uh, as you will see tonight, my two compadres, Brent Bishop and Buck Byers, we're going to be doing a little pregame um, spectacle to see the teams break everything down and uh, get some expert picks. Um, obviously, as, as you guys know who have participated in this or spectated in the past, there is some um, friendly wagering that you can do prior to play beginning. So, we're doing things a little bit different this year, so if you're a participant or a spectator, we are actually, in the past we've always done one hole. Uh, this year we're going to do two holes. So you'll see there's an A group and a B group. Um, the A group is going to be hitting to number 9 green and the B group is going to be playing to number 18 green. Yes. So there's still an A player and a B player. There's still a designated A player spot where they tee off and a designated B player spot where they tee off within each group. It's just that the A group is playing to the 9th green, the B group is playing to the 18th green. To start, after we get down to six teams in the A group, and it would be five teams, I'm sorry, six teams in the B group, five teams in the A group, we're gonna merge everybody together and alternate between nine green and 18 green. It's gonna be kind of confusing, um, but we know what we're doing, we'll get it done. So anyway, this year we have a total of 19 teams currently. Um, like I said, Brent and Buck are gonna go over their picks. Uh, they're gonna kind of walk you through who's maybe a good player to wager on, who's not a good player to wager on. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'll have Brent and Buck come in. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, um, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, I may even throw a few more questions at you while we're going through this. Absolutely. Uh, we're still, this format's new to us. I love the format, by the way, especially since it's all gonna be around nine and 18. Spectators, you need to come up and watch this. It's going to be great. Eight o'clock start. Is that right, Buck? Yes. Eight o'clock start. Eight o'clock start. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's going to be a drink great time. specials, food, all that. Uh, Austin's talking about having a pavilion bar open, so you guys won't even have to go inside. Oh. Uh, by then, the weather should be cooling down a little bit. It won't be ninety-five and one hundred percent humidity. Yeah, you're going to get long shadows at this time of night, so it'll be great. I love the format too. I think that's great especially with an A, B player here, A, B player here. And did you say you're gonna drop down to six players here and down to five players here or six players here? On so players? because there's not an even number right now, the A group will go to five and that'll leave six in the B group. We won't we'll go five. 11 five. teams. Yeah, you'll okay. have 11 teams. Yeah. Just so to keep it you fair. just gotta make it through three eliminations on A group, right? Correct. Okay, four on there. Yep. All right, so that's, that's what's a different format on this. Because yeah. a lot of golfers, like myself, I make it past the first format and the first drop, I'm a winner. I'm glad to get to the... the well, the, Ian, being in, being in this format before, you get through that first hole, you tend to relax. Exactly. I, I still get nervous for these formats. A lot of people watching. Um, but if I make it through the first hole, I feel like I settle down. Now I can play some actual golf and not just trying to get through. It's different when someone else is relying on your shot. Yeah, absolutely. If it's just me hitting a shot and I mess up, I feel bad. No big deal. I let someone else down, you feel terrible. Yep. And so that's what's great about these. Yep. And spectators. That changes the whole thing. So I'm thinking we could have quite a few spectators there. Absolutely. I especially, hope they do. Especially yeah. the more teams, you're going to have, you know, a couple of people from each person coming up and watching them and rooting yeah. them on. Um, well, not you. You don't have that many friends, but that's all right. We'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, my family doesn't like me either, so that's probably not going to happen. So um, that's all right. I'm, I'll be rooting for myself. Uh, Steve McGinnis will be rooting for me. I do that's have one true. guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> One guy. That's what I got. So let's go through this. A group is going to nine green, right? Correct. All right. So... What is your picks here, uh, uh, Bucky? I And I want to say this. I'm impressed. There's a lot of players here I don't know, and that's good. Well, that, that is great for us. That speaks to this course getting busier and busier. I mean, uh, I talked to Austin the other day. We're on pace to do 34,000 rounds for this year. To me, that's insane. Kudos to the staff. Yes. Outside, Brian, this, the superintendent, everybody. This course is great. Shape. The best I've ever seen. People coming in and people – and 
getting out of their elements and playing in, in, in events like this is huge. And it's huge for the course to make more money at a time that it's normally closed, just even will make this course even better. At eight o'clock at night yes. on a Saturday. And this is what's interesting. You get these people that you don't know you don't know how they're going to handle that stress yeah, of exactly. hitting that shot at yeah. nine o'clock at night yeah. and your partner's relying on it. So, uh, so, okay, this is not, let, what, who do you like in this first group? You want well, maybe, maybe we should start and just go through the teams. Okay. Let's start with that. All right, let's do that. So, uh, horse one, you got Mark Raggi and B squared. Everybody knows B squared. Um, 85 year old guy that still hits at 300 yards. They are last year's champion too. And then they are last year's champion. He can champion. only see through one third of his eye. And, yes. And the other yeah. eye, I don't even know if he has it. And I think it, it, it helps him out because he doesn't even know the crowd's even there. Yeah, So blocks it out. And this is, which sort, Saria? Jalen. Jalen and which Phillips? Uh, Tanner. Tanner Phillips. So uh, these are two guys that I have no idea. I'm, I'll be uh, glad to meet you guys. Uh, probably seen you around, just don't know who you are. So wasn't it about, was it two years ago or three years ago, some dark horses come out that we didn't know of mm -hmm. and won the shot in the dark? Mm -hmm. Was that two years that ago? That was, uh, yeah, it was two years. Maybe. That was that was a Berries, yeah. Tyler Berry. Yeah. And somebody, no one knew. Yeah. yeah. And no, they come uh, in one here. person, Kim Nelson. Kim yeah, Nelson. that's right. <laughs> no one knew. And they no. come in and win no. the thing. Yep. So this is another one, unknown factor. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good thing. That's a good betting style. Mm -hmm. If you don't know them, most people probably don't know them. Mm -hmm. Put a couple bucks on them to show, you're probably going to make some money. Because exactly, no one's going to bet on them, that locals, because right. they don't know them. So uh, I'll go uh, McGinnis and Byers. Good team. I do think they're going to make it past the elimination. They're going to make it into the merch. Now, what I do like about this twosome here is I like their putting. I think them two are good putters. They know the greens very well. I think you guys could do very well in this. Yeah, uh, Steve's had a little back problem, so he's had about a week off. He said his back felt really good today. So Andy told me he wasn't getting after it, but he was hitting the ball farther. And I'm like, well, you're hitting it in the center of the face. So that's what this game's about, so keep it up. I really think it matters too if you're used to playing with a guy. Oh, absolutely. And you two are yeah. used to each other. We, this is you probably just throw someone in there with them. I don't know how. This is probably our I don't know eighth or ninth horse horse race together. So it makes uh, it very good. And and we always have a rule before we start. I tell him I'm sorry. He tells me I'm sorry. <laughs> and we don't say it the rest of the <laughs> night because best. it is what it is. Yeah. We're going to yeah. put each other in some spots, and that's what it's about. So uh, okay, here are the the fourth team: Delano Beerman. Uh, good team. Yeah, Beerman, the youngest competitor in the in the shot in the dark, I yeah. believe. Uh -huh. um, he played. He, him and uh, Jacob played really well in the horse race. Uh -huh. um, went out on hole nine. Uh, played really well. Actually, showed some people how good of golfers they are. Very good. Um, so this is this is going to be fun. Um, um, Delano. Uh, when he hits a bad shot, you guys better duck. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't care if it's a wedge. No, putter, uh, putter. ball, yep. chew, yep. socks. Yep. I've seen him throw it all. Yep. So just be careful. I saw him call a kid, throw a kid one time. Picked up a kid and threw a kid. <laughs> yep. Hopefully it was into the water. <laughs> no. Into oh. a tree. Oh kid was my. in a tree. <laughs> oh my. Bad deal. I didn't Here, know that. Here's what a lot here's a Winfrey McGall. These guys are used to pressure playing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you think, well, they won't deal with this. Actually, they're going to be pretty good with this pressure. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to be anything to them. They have four-foot putts and has to play on for the next one more hole to, to settle their bets. So yeah. they're, they're, I think they're going to be, they're going to be all right. Um, this is an interesting team. Sapp and Kessler. I don't know what to say. I, I'll say this one thing. Luckiest golfer I've ever seen right here. Uh, He's always in the money. Every time. Always. Sam, I don't know what yeah. it is. It's a past Brassy Cup winner. Yep. Mm -hmm. He he is a – I've seen him hit some shots in cup matches – or not cup matches, horse races yes. and stuff that I've never seen him hit. Make putts. But when he is pressured, that yep. guy can rise to the occasion and hit some shots like never expected. Yep. Now, occasionally, he hits the shot that will put you out. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, this is a – That's a dark horse. Yeah. If you want to put $2 on a team – yeah, it's right probably going to pay some money. Yeah. We uh, think. First Lawson boys, the uh, Gorham and Petty group, uh, they played a lot of horse races. They, they played a lot of Lawson horse races. They played a lot of events altogether. Um, 
that's a pretty good team. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not also, I'm not set. They're definitely going to get through this first group. I'm definitely going to put some money on them for win, place, and show. I will tell you, Gorm and Finley just won the, the Lawson Alumni horse race. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. like a week ago. What, what I've heard from outside sources, he's playing some of the best golf he's played. Oh. Yes. He is playing some good golf right now. Well, now, that changes when, you, if your strength is your driver or your putter, mm -hmm. well, how are you with your irons? Well, I'm all right. It changes everything with this format. You better hit your irons really good. Yeah, absolutely. And then the last team in the eight group so far, the Brent Bishop and Brad Carter group, um, this is a very salty team. Um, you mentioned earlier, take the driver out of Carter's hand, becomes a really good player. Yeah. Uh, and has shown really well in past horse races. I think he's a past winner, if not a runner-up that I know of. I know he's been a runner-up. Um, so... I mean, and Bishop plays in every one of these horse races, so he's he's got no nerves. He's got nerves to steal, so he's going to play well. I'm, and, I'm, I'm a lot like Buck. I apologize before we even start. Yeah, and another thing, these two play a lot of golf together. Not always cart partners. I, I think Bishop has kind of made Carter take the Hawk babysitting for now. Um, and so they don't ride together so much, but they do play a lot of golf together. Lots so that's golf. another team that they'll be able to compete do really so well. I, I will say I can see if I had to make some bets on this first thing um, I'm gonna bet on myself and eliminate that I'm gonna bet on McGinnis Byers I'm gonna bet on, bet on Delano uh, Beerman I'm gonna throw some money on this Soraya Phillips yeah. I'm even gonna throw some money on Gorman Petty yeah. now, I don't think that'll pay that much no, I agree. I, I agree. No, I don't they're think, a popular team. Yeah. yeah, they're a popular team. I think a two dollar bet may be when you a dollar. So this is what yeah. I like to do. I'll I'll, t I'll pick a few teams. I like to take one team that I'm I'm pretty sure is going to come in the money. So at least maybe I get a little money back. And then I pick some dark horses that's really going to make me some money. It's kind of like going to the boat. I'm betting. I'm not betting on black. I'm betting on a number. I'm trying to win some. Money. Yeah, yeah. And how the the betting horses go? It's a win, place, and show. You bet for a team to win, a bet for a team to place, and a bet for a team to show. If your team falls in any of that, it's percentages on what, how many bets are made on that team, how many bets are made on place, how many show. So it's a computer program they run. But if you get a guy like a, a Winfrey McGall, which I think is a good show bet, in my opinion, I think they would be a decent show bet. Now, if a lot of people are betting on them, it's not going to pay that well. If no one bets on them except them, it's going to pay off really well. So it just all depends on how many people bet on them. So, do you have any other comments on that one? Buck? No, I think we're good there. Let's go to this B group, which is a very interesting group as well. Very interesting. Uh, Finley Whitaker. Uh, I think Finley probably, now that he's retired, uh, he's been retired for, I think, a year, a little over a year. I don't think there's anybody that plays more golf than him. Nope. Really? Big, big and, fan. Big fan. Plays a lot of golf. And okay. so he is, and he, like like Austin said earlier, he, he's a past, I mean, the alumni, lost an alumni, horse rate. He's going to come off on a high, and he's not going to have any nerves. So he's going to hit some good shots. And, I, and they, they know Finley's game is he is a great short game yeah, player. Yes. Yeah. They live for this, quite literally. Yeah. They had contracts. They could have played and live. <laughs> they turned him down to be here. I heard that he wanted a certain team name, and they wouldn't allow it. That's why yeah, he was yeah, big fan. Yeah, yeah big, big fan. fan. They, they yeah. Big fan, and they said no. no. So, uh, okay, we all know the Willamette's times too. That's uh, Curtis and Derek. Uh, this team isn't a dark horse. That's probably a favorite. Curtis is playing really good golf right now. Um, Derek, if you keep him out of the crown, will be really good. If you, it, you might want to ask him how much he's going to drink that night before you bet on him. Is it Apple Crown? Is that what his favorite I think is? it's kind of, yeah, Apple Crown's his favorite, but I don't, you put a crown in him and, and he's going to drink. I've heard rumors that it gets really handsy with him. Um, he likes to, he likes to kiss on people okay. every once in a while. That's tell you right. how much he loves you, but that, he's a friendly he's guy. He's a good, he's good. a friendly, friendly. But here's them two together. It's a father-son grinders. Yes. They're especially... Uh, Derek is never out of a hole. No. I don't care what it is. Um, I agree. That's a that's a, a show bet for me for sure. Yeah. Creason and Dink. Another, that's Andy Creason. Yeah. It's still a good team. Yes. And they play a lot of golf together. Yes. Another team where um, do I think they're going to win the whole thing? I don't know. 
Do I think they're going to make the cut and move, move to the total teams? Yes, I do. Um, now we go down to Berkness and Hardison. And that's Michael Berkness, Bobby Hardison, not Austin Hardison. So let's get that right. So yeah. when you come in, not saying that Bobby, Bobby is a past horse race winner, multiple horse race winner. So he is yeah. still a good player. That's He's the current two-man horse race champion. He yes. is used to this format, both of yes. them. Um, very good team. Absolutely. Very good team. That is a team, not only are they going to make the, when they join the two groups, uh, there's going to be some money placed on them. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's not going to place, your your place bet on them or win place is not going to play that great. That great. Uh, McFall Askew. All right. I don't know much about their golf game. I don't know anything about their golf game. Uh, I'm going to put two bucks on them to show just because I don't know them and just make sure that they don't go, they're not the only ones betting on themselves. That's what I'm going to do. And that's a big payoff for $2. <laughs> yeah. You know, you could triple, quadruple your money on a $2 yes. bet. So we're not, when you guys get here, come up, introduce yourself, please, so I can get to know you guys. Um, but yeah. I'm also glad you guys are playing. The more, the new faces that we see, the great, it's awesome. Oh, really yeah. This is a real, I mean, we're all playing for some money and having fun, but it's just about having fun and playing some golf. I mean, it's night golf for Pete's sake. Yeah. It's, it's not like we're out there to, to win a million dollars. It's just right. to have some fun. Absolutely. So, yeah, I hope these guys enjoy it, and I hope they do well and they come back. Uh, Johnson and Wood are. Oh, I thought that was Woo. Woo. <laughs> was that Kim Woo? Kim Woo. Oh, sorry. Kim Wood. Wood. Johnson Wood. and Wood. Hang on. Uh, Austin, you know anything about Johnson uh, Wood? Yes. Uh, I believe that's Jeff Johnson and Jonathan Wood, both relatively decent players. Lawsonites. Uh, Lawson yeah. Oh, Lawson yeah. Boy's coming down. All right. Um, and I think a lot of, because we've had a couple of horse races in Lawson, mm -hmm. where we've had some representation up there. Yes. We've had two women do very well up yes. there in the last mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Terry Irons and Kim Nelson, would yes. they take second yes. up yeah, there? Second. Yes. Yeah. Kudos to them. Uh, Tough crowd up there. They are they're grinders. Yeah, uh, it was mentioned in that county line horse race that uh, there was going to be some Lawson boys come down and take one of our victories ah. this year. So they're they're coming out. They're coming for the Excelsior people. So, but there's one Lawsonite that's not on that board yet. Who it could the, be? Is this a is this a teaser? Is this a teaser? Well, it might be. I, I haven't heard from him, and I'm quite surprised because I think he lives for this event, and it's Jeremy Head. Oh, what? Oh, 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 is he out of town? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard from him. Wow, that is right. I maybe haven't... maybe we should have talked to Brad Carter and got some inside information on yeah. him. Yes. Yeah, we needed a backstory. Yeah, he, if he's not here playing, if he's in town and healthy, he will be here yes. Saturday night. He's going to have... He's going to wager on every team. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jeremy. <laughs> All right. Uh, McLaren Decent, another team, plays together a lot. Yes, they do. This is Monty McLaren. Yes, yes. Monty McLaren, not Jaron. Uh, Monty, Monty's played really good golf lately. He shot 78 on Sunday. Now, granted, that's the driver and all that. So wow. Bad. And Decent on Sunday shot 79. So that's two wow. guys playing pretty good golf. And Decent was also a winner in the men's club tonight. So, And I, McLaren no-showed on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I forgot about <laughs> for that. Yeah, Tuesday night league. Yeah, men's, or for handicap league. So, No-show. Yeah. Maybe he said he's resting up for, for Saturday night. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I, I'll say both those guys, they play together enough and everything. That's another team. I, I'm almost guaranteeing they're going to make the merger. That's a good team. Yeah. I, I think, I will think a lot of people will be betting on yeah. that. Yeah. So one thing that, uh, that I forgot to mention in the beginning was that uh, there's also a little promotion that we're doing. Uh, teams that match, like have a matching outfit, and also teams that come up with a team name will get their first drink free. And I can tell you McLaren and Deason have been, they've had a, a laundry list of names. Okay, I Already. didn't know this until just now. Yeah. That's a um, good I promotional. Will definitely, to get my drink, we'll be coming up with something. Yeah. yeah. And now, the, yeah. I, I have to ask this. Um, do we have to match and be the best matching or just match? No, no, no. You just have to match. And, and it, could be, it doesn't have to be like green and green or blue and blue. It could just be like a theme. You have to, it could be a theme, it could be matching colors, and you have to have so a team if name. If I wear arm, if Steve and I wear arm floaties. Yeah. Boom. 
We're in. You're in. If but Brad, you have to have a team name also. Oh, well, I'll come up. You'd with have that. to be the Floaty Ducks or something. If Brad Carter and I wear cowboy hats and we're the two steppers, then you're in. We that's win. one free drink for you guys. Yeah, that's I'm good. I'll hold you to that. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't like you holding me, but that's all right. Yes, you do. So, <laughs> McLaren decent, very good team. Yes. I I doubt that they will uh, have a lot. I believe they will have a lot of money wagered on him. Mojo and Barrett. Uh, arguably one of the better women that we have here playing at this course. Um, shows really well in these events. Um, playing with her brother-in-law, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ricky Baird. Um, I haven't seen Ricky much this year. I know he's had, he had a, he's got a newborn about a year old now, maybe. Um, so I know he's been taking care of that baby, but uh, that that's a sleeper. I mean, that's a that's a could be a really good team there if they get if they get going. They know each other. They play golf together. They'll talk some things out, talk some putts out. And she, she should be good, pretty good. If she's on, she can carry a lot of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And she knows the course very well. Yeah. Um, Anderson and Masoner. Uh, that is which Anderson and which Masoner? That's Cody Nick. Cody Anderson and Nick Mason. Okay, Cody Anderson and Nick Masoner. What's your thoughts on that team? Uh, Cody play, Cody's played more golf this year than I've seen in a long time and playing really well. Um, uh, Nick uh, played really well with Creason in the horse race. Um, got really hot and carried Creason for a while. No offense, Creason, but you know that. And uh, so that's a pretty good team. Um, and that, that might be a team that golf-wise, a lot of people might not know them. I was going to say, that seems like a good uh, $2 show yeah. bet. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. I'll they, give you a fun fact about uh, Mr. Masoner. He he does, in his career, have a ESPN Top 10 highlight. Really? really? Yeah, Sports Center Top 10 highlight. Yeah, in nope. high school. Yeah. And what was that? A, in football. Was he on? He got he was on Got Mossed or something. What? Or you got no, no, Mossed? No, no. It was just the Top 10 Sports oh, Center's no, Top 10. Really? Yeah. Really? really. Yeah. Uh, super maybe, athlete. Maybe we will be playing that on the TV Saturday night on. Oh, repeat. that would be cool. Yeah. That, just repeat that. And so. uh, do you think we can get him to do an autograph booth? I'm sure. He, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Donate yeah. like two dollars to the Junior Golf Fund. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, for, for, for autographs. 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 Yeah, All right. I, think so. I think we could do that. I would. I would ask for one. Yeah, we'll, we'll set him up a booth. All right, yeah. sounds good. Um, one thing uh, I don't believe you mentioned. So if we have any ties after the hole is done, we do Correct. a chip off. Correct. So, say uh, McGinnis and Byers and Bishop and Carter have a bogey, and we're the only bogeys, and we're the high scores. Austin or Tim, whoever is running this group, will pick a spot, put a tee down, and one person that didn't make the putt will have to chip off to move on. Correct. So, uh, you want to talk about some pressure golf? That's the most pressure that you will have in this format. It's not the tee ball. It's not the putt. Maybe a putt that you know if you make it, you it's, won't be in the chip it's, off. It's a three footer, left or right, right. little bender that you hit it firm yes. and you make it or you're out. But but when you get into that chip off, it's and, the worst. and the person that's the second person or third person that has to go doesn't oh. get to watch. No. So they don't know what the chip's going to do. Blind. They don't know where they're, they've hit it. So you just really need to get up and go, I just need to hit a good chip. The best shot I can. Yep. And uh, the, usually they don't pick the easiest chip shots. No, 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 no. You're not going uphill a 30 footer right, right into the hole. No, they're tough. Now, will they change every chip off, or is that what you're planning on doing? So if you have a chip off this hole, next shot. shot it's yeah, gonna it'll be a different location on every chip off. Well, and what's interesting with this, typically in these par three formats or the shot in the dark format, more people end up in the chip off because oh, yeah. a par is a pretty good score. A bogey is actually a pretty good score in this format, but the less people you get, I think, was it last year or two years ago, we had the final four teams were all on a chip off with a par. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you get to, you getting down there. If you're hitting green. 100 yard shots, if everybody's hitting, either hitting the green and two putting, or these guys are usually getting comfortable by then yep. and they're hitting close yep. and it's a chip. They're yep. playing the ball up, which helps a lot. It's a chip, one putt, and it, it's a huge, um, Huge pressure shot yeah. is a chip ball. Um, are we going to have a hole in one prize this year? We did have that uh, last year, I believe. Jared McLaren had a hole in one. Yeah. Are we having a hole in one prize? Ooh, I don't know that there is a hole in one prize at this time. I'll be honest, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, we so we're going to ask you 
Uh, if anybody would like to sponsor the hole in one prize, the first yeah. hole in one, uh, anybody who's more than willing to uh, come up with a prize or or a dollar amount, whatever anybody thinks would be great. So uh, Budweiser, Pepsi Cola, uh, Under Armour, Under Armour, Griffey uh, Insurance, New Balance, Griffey Insurance, any of those guys, yeah. just reach out to us. That's uh, let Austin know. Um, I think that's a good format. I'm, I'm interested to see. And here's the A group playing into nine, right? Nine, nine correct. 18, nine group chips and chip offs. Nine is not an easy hole correct. to have a chip off on. So this is chip off format, gonna be brutal. Now, once they merge, they'll go back and forth, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll merge down to It'll either be it'll either be ten or eleven teams. If we get another team, then we can go down to, to, to five and five, and then merge to ten. And then when we get to ten, we'll go. The odd numbered rounds will go to number nine green. The even numbered rounds will go to eighteen green. So uh, you will take some more teams here. We could potentially take up to twenty. Currently, we have nineteen. So yes, there are three open spots. Okay. So anybody's interested in watching this. Call someone and get a partner, or let Austin know. Maybe he's got somebody on a waiting. Do you have anybody? Yep, I have, yeah, I have some people so on a waiting list. Call somebody and say, "Hey, I'm interested in playing, and maybe we can get and you what on." Is, here. What is the cost? I want to say it's thirty-five dollars a man. So seventy dollars a team, yep. thirty-five a man. Uh, relatively cheap uh, entertainment. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I always have a great time playing in these. Even I, too. I get frustrated if we get knocked out on the first hole, but I have after I stop being frustrated for about three holes, I. I watch and I root for people and have a great time. I've actually had more fun sometimes yes. when I go out the first or second hole. So now I can have a cocktail, get yep. a snack, yep. and I sit and watch and root for the teams that I, I you know, I'm rooting now for a, a Sap Kessler because I'm the only one that's got a parlay or a wind yep. show. Up. Absolutely. So, uh, that's what's fun about it. You can make a good thing about going out early, stick around and have a few drinks with your friends and, and just have a good time. So um, with that, um, Please come out and watch, support the golf course, drink some drinks, have some food, cheap food. They'll, we're going to have some uh, food specials. I think Austin said maybe some walking tacos. That's not nailed down yet, of course. Um, there's going to be construction lights. Obviously, um, kind of pay attention to where you're, you're standing and sitting. There could be some balls being hit in your area. Probably me. Um, so... Be careful with that. <laughs> I will say, anybody that's not been here at this golf course at sunset, come up. This course is beautiful. Absolutely. The sun is setting. The green grass gets a different color to it. Yes. The trees are just beautiful. The course is in great shop, shape. If you want to come up and just see a beautiful place at sunset, come up here. It is just gorgeous. And just see a spectacle of, of right now, what is that, nine, 19 teams or 17 teams on a on two holes with maybe 50 to 100 spectators, it's a pretty interesting. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of people. Yeah. You know? So it 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 gives you a small little taste of what the pros go yeah, through. Absolutely. I mean, we're talking very very small, very very small, and it's still nerve wracking. Absolutely. When you're hitting a shot and everybody's watching at you, watching you, it's. And what's fun is is the camaraderie behind the people. Even though you're going against them, everybody is super supportive. Great putt. Hey, that's an awesome shot. You know, it's yes, I'm rooting for Brent to miss this putt because we'll be in the chip off. But at the same time, I want him to win. Yeah. So. If, if someone makes a good putt and they beat me, that's a great putt. You know, that's what it is. That's sportsmanship. So, um, I hope everybody comes out. Austin, great job with this. I'm excited for this, and uh, I got nothing else to say. Come on out. Awesome. Support us. We'll Thanks, see guys. you uh, Saturday at 8 o'clock.